We're gonna look at Benson here, which is a, uh, it's a simple Angular integration. Um, I built it to work with the WP REST API, but it does actually just work with any JSON endpoint. Um, so as long as that endpoint is just totally public, um, it's not gonna do any sort of auth or anything like that. It's really just for read only. Um, super basic, not a lot of stuff is happening in the controller. Um, it really is just, give me some JSON, let me start templating with it with uh, uh, Angular's templating engine. So we'll kind of look at that real quick and see how we can integrate uh, the two together. Um, so here we have uh, just a blank WordPress theme, fresh install. Um, so in order to get things set up, we're going to go to the plugins for this. Um, so we want to activate Benson, and then we also need advanced custom fields. Um, you don't need the pro version, you can just go with ACF. Um, at some point I'd like to decouple these two, um, but you do need it in order to get the, uh, the checkboxes and stuff, at least for now. So we will go ahead and activate these, hit apply. So once we've done this, what we got is, let's go and edit this page, this is our sample page. Okay, so we'll have these Benson option here. Uh, it's asking us to paste the WP JSON underscore URL here. Um, what we're looking for is the WP API endpoints. Um, if you wanna pull stuff from the site that you're on, you'll need to install the WP API. It's a plugin, I keep saying it's gonna make it to core, Hopefully it will, hasn't yet. Um, but here I'm looking at a, a Rampage site. So totally different uh, domain. Right now I'm on playground.dev, which is a local. And I'm gonna go up to a live site up on Rampages. Um, and there I will pull from uh, WPJSON endpoint here. So this is just grabbing uh, the first 10 posts from the research site. Um, if you look up WP API, API .org. Um, there's a ton of documentation here. Um, looks like they've got version two stuff, but you'll see there's a whole bunch of different ways to like build your queries, um, add filters and things so that you can really start building some powerful queries similar to making custom queries with WordPress itself. Um, we're just gonna stick with something really basic for right now. So we're gonna copy this endpoint and then we will paste it down here. Um, here are a few different modules that you can uh, um, add. Typically, you're probably gonna want Sanitize. Um, I usually will use Animate, Paginate if you wanna do a bunch of stuff um, for that, which we could use. I'm not gonna use that here. Um, so these are some of the things that you could use. Um, also, Filter if you wanna do any advanced filtering. Um, we may mess around with that a little bit, depending on how things go. Um, all right, so now that we have this stuff, we'll go ahead and update the post. Let's paste in that, uh, uh, some some HTML here with uh, some Angular setup in it. So what we have here is the ng app Benson. This is the app that uh, Benson sets up. This is kind of how we get everything rolling. It tells Angular to just kick everything off. We also have a controller that the Benson plugin creates called main controller. And then within this controller, is where we can start doing all of our, uh, you know, templating and things. And here, since we're looking at uh, an object with a whole bunch of posts in it, we're going to use the ng repeat. Uh, we're going to do post in data. Data is where everything is getting attached to the scope. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and update this here. And if we come back, you'll see that we are getting. you'll see that we are getting all of this stuff. These are posts off of uh, Rampages. Um, and we can modify how this stuff is coming in. So if we look at the, here's our endpoint again, say we wanna get the excerpt, here is that excerpt. So over here, instead of doing post.content, we can do post.excerpt and then so, okay, let me explain real quick what we're doing here. Let's get rid of this ng bind. Um, so we'll just do post.excerpt, we'll update that, and let's take a look at it and see what we get. So right now you can see we're getting 
the p tags, it's not really rendering our HTML. It's basically just giving it all exactly like a string, which is not what we want. So what we need to do, um, Angular provides uh, a module uh, sanitize, which we have opted to include. And then to actually use it, we have to use uh, the ng-bind HTML directive here. So it's, uh, I think I've got those terms right. I may be, I may not. Anyways, we do ng-bind HTML here. And then we're going to put in uh, the model just like this here update it and then that should render it all as actual HTML so if we come through here there we go now our links work uh, we don't have those p tags and everything and that way we can actually start you know spitting stuff out that we want to um, but here is you know everything that you have available to you here so we could dump in author names nicknames all this stuff that we want um, so let's do one real quick let's do author uh, name uh, let's see here. So we have post title, and then we could do something like, um, you know, by <coughs> post dot author dot name. Is that what it was? Yep. I have to update this. Go back and look. There we go. By James Biden 12, by Nick Fetzer, by Jalonzo. So this is how these things are getting created and how everything is working. You can kind of build all this stuff out in the same way that you would template. Um, or we can get uh, maybe a permalink in here. Do do do. I think it'd be close to the top. Modified order. Link. Here we go. All right. So we could do. A href equals um, post dot link. And if we update that, now we can link out directly to the other site where we need to go. Um, so you can see how powerful this can be and how quickly you can start building you know, full on page layouts and custom queries without really accessing anything. And you're doing it all with JavaScript, so it's a totally different setup of doing it. Um, super powerful, super, super easy to work with. Typically when I'm building themes, I'll do this for sites where I wanna do some filtering and stuff, and I'll do that stuff in the template, although you could do it in the uh, editor like this. Um, just a quick example. Um, new online.vcu.edu site, or relatively new as time of this recording anyways. Um, so we'll go to courses. Um, so this is uh, a listing of 646 courses that VCU offers that have online components or are entirely online. And then with uh, Benson and Angular, obviously, Benson just kind of gets all this information in here. Um, Angular provides all sorts of filters and different ways to to really dig down with things. So in here we can do stuff like uh, Butter, and we'll have Professor Buttery's courses here. Um, we can search by department, um, you know, by different colleges, by different modes, and really start like drilling down to three specific courses, reset everything, and all of this is done um, with Angular and JavaScript. So none of this is. Uh, really done in the typical way that you would write uh, WordPress templates. Um, but it provides a lot more uh, a lot more functionality. You can do a lot more cool stuff. Um, so that's one way that I've been using it. Um, hopefully that kind of clarifies how to use this and dig into it. Um, if you look on the, the Benson GitHub, short description here. Um, so is a link to the WP API, quick description on how to template. Um, the Angular docs, you're definitely gonna wanna look at those if you're unfamiliar with Angular in terms of how to actually start templating and the various ways to use filters and things like that. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. See ya.